guys and welcome back to another vlog so please do not mind my face right now because yeah I just got back from the gym and you know just not much happening here but today I'm expecting a HelloFresh delivery and this is not sponsored I actually purchased a box by myself because I keep seeing um, so many other vloggers talk about it and it looks so good so I kind of got influenced and bought myself a box. I ordered it two weeks ago, so today is gonna to be my very first delivery. Shall so just show it. <laughs> so I'll definitely show you guys later, and we'll probably have that for dinner. And I mean, HelloFresh, if you'd like to sponsor me, I promise I'll try and look a little bit cuter in my video. But yeah, today's just gonna to be a chill day. I have my laundry on, I don't know if you can hear it. And also, right now, I'm planning on going to Coles because I want to see if they have more of these Murakami Perea water bottles. I showed this in my last video and there was only one yesterday so I thought it can't hurt to check again today. Maybe they restocked it because I just want to buy a few more. I want to keep some at home and I also want to buy some for my friends so I can give it to them. I know it's just a water bottle but I know. I hope some of you guys <laughs> can relate to this but I really really want more of them. So yeah, that's the plan for today. It's a chill day. I really need to like tidy my apartment. I filmed a video yesterday and there's just like stuff everywhere. I'm not going to show you guys, but where my couch is, it's just all the clothes and all the sneakers that I spoke about in my like last video where I did my Farfetch haul and I haven't, haven't put it away and just that's my life. <laughs> just stuff everywhere. And then I also have so many boxes I need to take for recycling. So. Anyway, let me get my life together. But I thought I'll bring you guys to the supermarket again. I don't know whether you guys find that entertaining, but I actually really enjoy watching like other people like go to the supermarket because it's different, especially you guys in the States. Like I'm so fascinated because everything is like different. You guys have different products and you know I like food, so I like to see what kind of snacks you guys get and stuff. So Anyway, okay, let's stop talking because it is now 1.47 and I feel like if <laughs> Coles did restock the Murakami bottles, they would have been gone by now because I'm still here, like, just rambling on. So, okay, let's go. Today's weather is pretty nice. It's 22 degrees, so I don't need a jacket. Just gonna wear this. Let's go. Put my, put my AirPods on. I'm gonna take a nice walk and then I will... So you guys, actually no, no, you guys are coming with me. Let's go to the supermarket. All right, moment of truth guys. I'm in the water aisle, so let's have a look. So it's usually, well, the last time I came here anyway, it was up here. Look, there's more, oh my God. And it is on sale, it's $2, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna buy all of them. There's not that many, I will take them all. I don't know why, but I didn't take like a basket with me, so, I have my little bag, so I'm just gonna put it in this bag. I'm so excited! I think I'm gonna give some to my friends, so... I should probably take the tram home, because this is probably gonna be a little bit heavy for me to carry. Should I go get a basket? I feel like I should. Am I being a hoarder? Am I doing a bad thing? But if any of you guys know me in person, you know that I'll give one to you. Should I leave one behind just in case someone wants them? I feel like I'm a crazy person. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, maybe six. I think they will restock. So if you guys are in like Melbourne, I'm sure they will restock the bottles. And it's $2, so it's on sale right now. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna give one to like Beatrice. Anyway, okay, I feel very happy, and very successful, so let's go. So this is what is inside my HelloFresh. I'm so excited for this because like I mentioned to you guys, I've never tried this, but I always see other people like cooking HelloFresh so I've been influenced and I bought myself a box so yeah this is what is in the box so the recipe that I got for this week is this tremula chicken and roast veggie quinoa because I wanted something healthy this one here is pork and red pesto pasta and then also the Korean beef bibimbap Everything looks so good. So there are three meals in here and well, it's very unprofessional angle that I have for you guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna put this in the fridge for now 
And then I think we'll cook it a little bit later. I don't know which one to go for, but I'm feeling pasta today. So I have all my ingredients ready to make dinner tonight and I'm so excited because this all looks so good. So I'm going to be making the pork and red pesto spaghetti with pear salad and look at how good this looks. So I just finished cooking the pasta and the salad and this was super easy to put together. There's actually like so much more left. So it's meant to be for two people, but obviously it's just me. So this is what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Hey guys, so obviously it is the next day. The pasta last night was delicious. I had so much leftover, so I'm gonna eat that over the next few days. But it is now... 157 and I have to head out soon because I'm gonna meet Beatrice. We're gonna have dinner tonight and we're gonna have fried chicken because I am like I feel like I'm always craving fried chicken but if you watch one of my previous vlogs I mentioned that I wanted to go to this place called Sunny's Fried Chicken and the last time I went there I didn't check their trading hours and they were closed so I checked so many times today, they should be open at 5 o'clock so I'm gonna meet Beatrice first and then we're gonna go to the optometrist to pick out our glass, not pick up, pick up our glasses because I ordered some two weeks ago because I don't know, I haven't had my eyes checked in a really long time and I wanted to get some glasses for when I'm editing and then with like, you know, that blue light filter thing. So yeah, we're gonna go get that done and then I need to take some photos. Let me quickly show you guys what I'm wearing today. I know it's very different from my usual style. I'm actually wearing a dress kind of thing. So I got this from Joy Rich, they sent it to me and I just think it's super cute. So I thought I'll take a little outfit photo today. It's been a while since I've worn like a one piece kind of thing but it is part of the Tom and Jerry collection and it's like really comfy. It's quite oversized, this is a size small and the bucket hat I'm wearing is a Kangol one. I think I've only ever worn this once, not even out of my apartment, just at home during lockdown for a photo. And then of course with my sneakers, I'm wearing my University Red um, Dunks, which are very cute. So yeah, I thought I'll go for like a little bit of a black, no black, red and white look. And uh, I... I don't know. I'm not used to this look. I'm wearing like bike shorts underneath because who knows, okay? The way I sit and stuff is probably best to wear like shorts underneath and like why are my knees always so ashy? Like I promise I moisturize a lot guys, but okay, just ignore that. So yeah, I'm gonna head out soon. I don't know what bag I'm gonna carry. Can you guys see my stash of Murakami water bottles there. I actually brought some to my friends today, but I still have a few more. I'm gonna take one for Beatrice. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, what do I wanna say? Let's head out now. I don't know if I will vlog in the optometrist place because I don't know, depending on how many people are there, but I will definitely show you guys. Hold on, why am I talking like that? I will definitely show you guys my dinner though because I don't know, based on their photos, everything looks so good. So they have burgers and fried chicken and chips and stuff. So I will definitely vlog it. And yeah, that is uh, all I have planned for right now. So let's head out now. So guys, we are, well we, as in me and Beatrice. Beatrice is over here. And she just helped me take some outfit photos with what I have on right now, which I showed you guys just before I left my apartment. So yeah, we took some photos and it's actually quite a warm day today. So it's not ideal to be wearing like this sweater dress thing and I, I feel so sweaty. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we were waiting for Sunny's Fried Chicken to open. It's literally just over there. But we're still kind of full because we had some bubble tea and some snacks before and we always do this like we tend to eat a bunch of like random food before <laughs> the actual meal so yeah what time let me check the time now because the place opens at 5 it's 502 but yeah I'm still kind of full so I don't know maybe we'll just hang here for a bit before we go to Sunny's but I'm so excited the menu looks so good I want to order everything but I don't know if I can eat everything today. I don't know, I said that now, but I'm just gonna eat all of it, okay? But anyway, 
um, next time you guys see me hopefully we'll have some really good food in front of us I've never been here before but based on the photos it looks very good so I'm excited so I hope you guys are excited too <laughs> Obviously, it's quite a warm day today to be wearing this like knitted jumper dress thing but I had to take a photo for Instagram for Joy Rich and that's why I wore this today because you know I was meeting Beatrice so she could help me the photos but I'm home, dinner was really good, Sunny's fried chicken, super happy with it like I didn't feel disappointed like the fried chicken I had in my last vlog so would recommend um, that place if you guys are in Melbourne but anyway I wanted to show you guys the glasses I picked up because I mentioned that I was going to the optometrist to pick up my glasses and I just got like a really cheap pair I went to Oscar Wiley I think that's how you pronounce it and yeah I mean the only reason why I went was Beatrice mentioned that she wanted to go to the optometrist a few weeks ago and then I was like oh my gosh I haven't been for ages and I feel like my eyesight might be getting a little bit blurry I really think it's because I've been like staring at the computer so much like when I edit my videos especially the ones that require like like my last video for example, that far-fetched video, I'm just looking at my hair in the viewfinder and I look so crazy so I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so like my last video for example, those videos take me ages to edit especially like that first 30 seconds, like that intro bit really takes me a while so when I'm editing my videos I can just sit at my computer for hours and not take a break and so I feel like that's probably not great for my eyes so I finally got myself a pair of glasses and these have the blue light filter as well they're really affordable so I just wanted something to wear at home I don't plan on wearing this out or maybe I could if I wanted like a different kind of look so I'll show you guys I haven't really looked at what I look like with the glasses but this is what they look like. I feel like they may look a little bit better when my hair is not looking crazy but yeah I mean I plan on wearing this like while I'm editing my videos. There is like a slight prescription to both of them. I think it's like 1.5 on one side. It's not, is that high? I don't think that's very high but I haven't had, I don't think I've ever had prescription glasses. I made some when I was younger only because I just wanted glasses and then I never ended up wearing them so yeah now I feel like I feel like I can see I don't know I'm not used to it like it's clear but I just am not used to wearing glasses and this hair wait let me maybe try maybe if I do my usual like low pony that might be a vibe hold on let me let me remove this okay so as you guys know, I had to cut my hair um, a few months ago because it was breaking so much and it actually is still breaking so much and I just don't know what to do with my hair because I've never had this happen to me before. I don't know if you guys can see but the front bits are just so short so most of the time I have my hair sleek back in a low pony just to like hide the fact that there's a lot of weird short bits um, <laughs> at the front and I'm hoping that you know I'll just keep doing my hair that way and then eventually it'll grow to a length where it can all be even again if that makes any sense at all so yeah if you guys are wondering why my hair is constantly in this style is because I don't know what to do with my hair and I feel like the only thing I can do is just to let it grow out so yeah anyway I feel like if I have this look let me see I can't tell if my hair is looking weird all right usually I'll have it <laughs> a little bit more sleek back um, and then maybe let's see this look with the glasses but is this weird I went for the silver frame because I always 
wear silver jewelry so you guys will notice i don't really change up my jewelry a lot my earrings and stuff because they can just stay there and i like how it looks and yeah my necklace as well you can see it's all silver and again this is the gramps and amour collaboration i'll link everything that i'm wearing in the description bar below anyway if you guys are interested but this is like a valentine's edition if you guys haven't bought it i know i keep mentioning this in my videos but i love it so much so i've been wearing this like every single day so there's like a smaller wait is this tangled it might be a little bit tangled all right usually <laughs> it looks a little bit better than that but i'll make sure to link this as well because i really love it i want to pick up a few more pieces from this collection and Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it tangled because yeah guys, that is pretty much it for me tonight. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of editing and then I actually have a parcel waiting for me at my concierge but they've left for the night because it is now 8.55 and you guys can see my screensaver is still my Air Dior. Um, picture this photo was taken by my friend Andrew and I just really love it so yeah it's 8 55 so it's not too late but I just really want to take a shower and it's just so hot so let me do that and yeah I'm just gonna call it a night I will see you tomorrow if I do end up picking up the package from downstairs I have no idea what it is um, on the description for my concierge it just says UPS and I'm trying to think if I've ordered anything recently. Oh, wait, I think I know what it is. So I received an email a few weeks ago, um, like from the Travis Scott shop, because I totally forgot that I bought these. I bought a pair of shorts from the McDonald's collection. I don't know if you guys remember that collab. And it seems like such a long time ago. And I picked up some t-shirts and they already arrived and when I unboxed that, I didn't do it on my channel, but when I unboxed it, I just had three t-shirts and then so I thought that I didn't end up buying the shorts, if that makes any sense. So I was just like, oh, maybe I changed my mind when I was, you know, trying to check out. And then I got an email saying the shorts have shipped, so I did <laughs> end up buying those shorts. Um, but with those t-shirts, I completely regret buying them because I have not even worn them and they're just sitting there in a room. So yeah, I don't know. Is there any resale to this? But anyway, also, wait, did I show you guys my <laughs> little Murakami water collection earlier today? I feel like I'm such a water bottle hoarder right now. But, okay guys, I really need to take a shower and then I'm just gonna wind down and, uh, you know, get ready for bed. I know it's really early. I usually go to bed at like 10.30 or 11. I'm not really like a night owl unless i have to like if i have something due then i'll stay up but generally i try and sleep pretty early because i wake up quite early i'm usually up by 6 30 or 6 most of the time so yeah anyway uh i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far i don't know how long this vlog will be but i think some of you guys do enjoy the longer vlogs so i really appreciate you guys watching my vlogs so yeah anyway i'll see you guys tomorrow Good night. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since the last time I vlogged and I'm actually here just waiting for Lawrence because we're gonna have dinner tonight. And I know I just had fried chicken a few days ago, but we're gonna have fried chicken again today because like I said, I've been craving Bell's hot chicken and I'm actually just waiting at GPO. I don't know whether this might look familiar to you. If you guys watched my last video, I shot it here so it's just at GPO and I'm just waiting here because there are some seats um, but yeah hopefully he's here soon I just went to Bell's to ask if I could make a reservation for a table but they said they don't take bookings for um, like less than five people so it shouldn't be I think it should be fine because there weren't that many people there anyway so yeah I'm very excited I am very hungry but I feel like every time I'm vlogging I say I'm hungry <laughs> So yeah, I'm just gonna wait for him and then hopefully we'll get a table. I don't know, I'm just very excited for Bells because I haven't had it in such a long time and they do these really, really spicy fried chicken. They have different levels, so I can't decide which level I'm gonna go for, um, but we'll see. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So while I'm waiting for Lawrence, I thought I'd come into H&M. So I'm going to the homeware section because 
very random, but I want to buy some placemats because what I have at home, I really don't like them. So, the homeware section is just over here. It's been a while since I've been to the homeware section, so let's have a look. Hopefully they have what I'm looking for. These kind of look similar to what I have at home, but what I have at home is red and I really do not like it, so I want something quite neutral. This is not too bad, I think. And then there's also this color, but I don't think I can maintain this looking like that. So I feel like the other color might be a better option. Um, these plates are pretty nice, I think. They're just like simple. All right, guys, I'm going to have a browse around. They also have like these rectangle ones. I feel like they look really big. Wait, this is a table runner. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Wrong item. Maybe let's go. Oh, this one says placemat, but they're kind of like a texture that I don't really like. I think that's the only kitchen section because here is like the bedroom stuff so you can get like bed sheets and stuff and then the next room is sort of like more like bath kind of stuff so I think I'll go back to that section. I might end up picking up the first one that I showed you guys before. Also I picked up a new pair of shoes that I want to show you guys. It's a pair of dunks. I don't know if you guys can guess which dunks they are. They are recent release lows. Anyway, I'm very excited. I'll show you guys later for sure. Alright guys, we're back at the same section that I was before. And I think I'm just gonna go for these placemats because I kind of like the colour. It's kind of cute. And yeah, I just want something quite neutral. I don't know why I'm showing you guys. I don't think you're interested in what placemats I buy. Um, but anyway, let me check the time because I meant to meet Lawrence at 6.55. And it is now 6.41, so I think I better go pay for this because the store closes at 7. And I feel really bad when like I'm the last minute shopper. Does it make any sense? Because I know they're closing and they need to do all their closing duties and stuff. So I don't want to be that person to be that last minute shopper. So <laughs> I'm going to find the cashier and pay for these and then we can go have some fried chicken. Look who we have here today. It's Finally. Lawrence again. Yeah, but yeah, on. we're now in Bells. Look at this menu. I just saw that they have, oh my god, you guys can see it. Maple butter wild wings. Look at this. But I always go for the drumsticks and then they have like different levels of heat that you can do. I usually go for this one. Mm. Oh, this one. I've tried this one before and it's, it's edible. It's pretty spicy, but it's edible. And then... Wait, what else do I want to show you guys? There's like sauces and stuff, yeah. I definitely need fries. And where are the sauces? Hopefully this is a better angle for you guys. But yeah, why am I showing you the menu? Okay, let's just order some food. So Belle's hot chicken was so good and I'm so glad that we went there. So Lawrence is still here and we're actually at our third location. So after Bells, we ended up going to this place called Tai Tai to have dessert. I can't even really remember the name of the dessert that I ordered, but it was actually really good. I didn't vlog at that place at all because it was so noisy. So there was like a huge table next to us with so many people, like over 10 people, and they were just super, super noisy. And yeah, it was not a vibe. So anyway, we're now at our third location for our second dessert. And we ended up getting a Nutella French toast, wait, can you guys see? I don't know whether it's gonna be good, but at least the place here is not super noisy. We've been here before like ages ago, and it was there was nobody at that time, but today is actually pretty full. And I was just telling Lawrence how like I have not, like I'm just not used to like people. <laughs> I'm just not used to seeing so many people like around me. Because yeah, you guys know that I'm super antisocial, right? I am. I have like reached a new level of antisocialness. So it's 9.40 now. And this is late for me. Because as you guys know, I usually go to bed at like 10.30 or 11. Okay. Our Nutella French toast is here. Look at this guys. It looks so cute. So it's obviously at bananas and strawberries and then I asked for extra ice cream and then I think in here is maple syrup. Guys, I know I just showed you my dessert but look at this! It actually smells really good as well. I'm kind of full but how can I not eat this? I'm gonna eat my dessert now because my ice cream's melting. I cannot stand melted ice cream. So good night for now and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.
So you know how I told you guys, I was really full and I was like not gonna eat too much of the other dessert. I was kidding because look at this. We ate that French toast so quickly because it it was pretty small. <laughs> so we ended up getting, look at this. So we got a taro milk tea French toast. Look at how good this looks guys. So there's like boba on there and then there's also like a taro chantilly cream and it's like a huge honey toast. And what time is it? I told you guys it's my bedtime. It's 10.20. I usually sleep at 10 30 tell me why am i out here eating a honey toast <laughs> but anyway guys all right for real this time we're gonna eat this honey toast and then really call it a night and i guess i'll say good night to you again so i'll see you guys tomorrow for real this time bye so like I mentioned before, I am going to do a little unboxing for you guys because I just picked up the medium curry dunks this week. So this released on Thursday and I'm so glad that I picked them up. I got them from Sneaker Boy and you guys can see the colorway on this. It's just super, super nice. So let me get the other side out as well just to show you guys. There's also the dark curry dunk highs that I don't have with me right now. But hopefully I can do an unboxing for you guys next week. But it did release on the same day. But I have to say between the lows and the highs based on the photos. Because I haven't seen what the highs look like in person just yet. But based on what I know right now, <laughs> which is having these in hand. I have to say that I prefer the lows just a little bit more, only because of the lighter colorway. And I have to say the quality on this is super on point. I feel like the material, I don't know if you guys can tell how nice and fluffy the suede is on this particular colorway. The only thing I'm concerned about is that I don't think I will be able to maintain it or keep it looking that clean for that long because on the toe box area you can see that the suede is in this light cream color and then i love how they've used some cream laces as well to complement the swoosh i think overall the color combination is super on point and i just love it so much so i cannot wait to style these and wear them in my future vlog so you'll definitely be seeing these a little bit more and yeah the quality like i can't get over how fluffy the suede is let me show you again so i have my veneers to show you guys so this one came out last year and you can see that the quality is also great on these i still have not worn them but look i'll give you guys a comparison look at these and then look at how fluffy the suede is on this one i just I love it so much and it is just so nice and tonal. Um, the retail price for this was 160 Australian dollars. You guys can see that I got this in a men's 6.5 and on the box here it says Nike Dunk Low Retro PRM. PRM I'm assuming stands for premium but yeah I went half a size up because like I mentioned in my previous videos I don't really like my sneakers to be super snug um, but for most people they go true to size with the non SB dunks and also you can definitely see a huge difference between the quality of dunks so this is the panda dunks that are a GR release GR meaning general release this is probably not a very good comparison because this is suede and this is leather but I have to say that the leather on the GR releases are a little bit more synthetic feeling and even the way they crease um, yeah just doesn't it's just not the same but anyway <laughs> I don't even know why I'm telling you guys that because I just really wanted to show you guys the medium curry dunks and I'm not too sure when the release date is for you guys in the States because I feel like the dunks have been delayed um, for you guys, right? Because we had them like all happen already with the coast dunks and the vast grace and stuff. I don't think you guys have gotten them just yet. But yeah, I just love these so much so I had to show you guys and I have not even tried them on feet but I already know that 
like look at them you don't even need to try them on feet to know that they're gonna look good and another thing that I wanted to show you guys are some socks so this is by a brand called no more and it is a Melbourne based brand and the quality also is super nice it is nice and thick and I have to say that this is my favorite colorway so this brand was actually started by my friends so of course I want to support them and I think they did such a great job I think the colorway especially on the cream one is so nice I love the green detailing and then also on the socks here on the like feet or like the top of your foot <laughs> area um, you can see that it says loves me not and then on the other side well look at this it's like a little sock puppet that I have going on on the other side it says loves me and yeah I already opened this one because this is the one that I want to wear but these two are still new but I'll definitely wear them and yeah the quality is really nice it feels so nice and thick so as always I should <laughs> Wait, let me remove this because that looked a bit weird. As always, I will list and link everything that I mentioned in this video in the description bar below. I'll also list all the places that I ate um, so you guys can check them out if you're in Melbourne as well. I know that this is a bit of a long vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye!